So would you be comfortable with your wife making more money than you? Personally, no, because I just think it's emasculating. Do you think all white people are inherently racist? Yes. Do you think the 2020 election was rigged? Absolutely. Hi, I'm Max Katz, and I'm a partner and social media manager at Left Middle Right, which is a media startup uh, started here at GW um, by a student that focuses on covering uh, news events that give the perspectives of people from the left, the middle, and the right um, all across the political spectrum, basically. So essentially trying to combat polarization and bias in the news media. I met the founder, Fareed, um, when I was rushing AKSI at Biz Fraternity, my first semester freshman year. And um, in that conversation, he showed me the account and what they were dedicated to. He asked me um, if I wanted to run the TikTok. Um, and I was kind of like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I didn't have a ton else going on at the time and I figured I would try it. And about a month after I started doing this, um, I started going out around campus and um, interviewing people on these various political questions. I think the first like major question we asked people was, describe Joe Biden's presidency in one word. I just went out on Kogan and asked it. Um, and that got over 2 million views on TikTok. And by the end of my freshman year, we were about 30,000 followers on TikTok. You know, over that summer after that, I kept, you know, trying to make as many videos as I can, doing breakdowns of different events or doing like long form research content. But obviously the interviews has definitely been, you know, a staple of our brand. It's attracted um, partnerships with organizations like Now This News. Um, and I actually make videos um, for their social media accounts now, doing the exact same thing. Last September, or October it was, we went to Maine for a group called Good Party USA to talk to Maine voters since it's the most politically independent state to try and gain traction for independent candidates for this group. LMR is still definitely dedicated to the whole brand of showing how we can have nonpartisan, reasonable discourse over issues and trying to combat political polarization. But we also have a whole business side now where we'll use our skills to help other institutions. You know, I think the special thing about what I do and our team does is we ask a lot of questions that people aren't always willing to ask, whether it's a cultural issue or a political issue. Um, a lot of times people think they have to talk about things in a certain way or get all technocratic for it to be able to be understood. We don't do that, right? We go straight for the issues and the substance that you know people um, need to get at if we wanna actually have these conversations um, to go somewhere. And I'm excited to keep doing that um, and I'm excited to see where I can take this company.